As long as we're on it, I think we should just kick off with video games. Yeah, I was going to say, okay. you just said mentioned Dark Souls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, Nintendo Direct happened. Yeah. Um, do you want to talk about the Direct first? or So the Dark Souls thing is not just Switch, it's on everything. And it's a remaster, oh, remaster, of, remaster of, of Dark Souls. Um, I'm excited systems. to see how that looks and what they've done to it. Yeah. Um, but I was telling Bryce, like, that's probably a game I'll end up getting on if I get it, because I really enjoyed that first one, and I busted a rick on that one. I did about 25, 30 hours of that game, and did absolutely nothing, except farm souls, and upgrade my weapons, and then I started, then I was overpowered for the areas I was in, so it felt really good just slicing through people, yeah. and <clears throat> did, a, did, a, did a bunch of mini bosses and stuff like that, and, and, and things of that nature, I had one major boss. Uh, in Dark Souls, but it was like 30 hours and I didn't do anything. And it just, and I remember telling you, this is like, Pizza! Ooh, nice. Pizza! <sighs> thank you. Uh, I remember even telling you, I was like, <laughs> it's hilarious because I remember this Dear specifically. Sarah, thank you for following I this. go, Bryce, this is what the next Zelda game should be. I, <laughs> I distinctly remember telling you that. It should be like Dark Souls. Yeah. This would be awesome. This is like a modern take on a Zelda game where there's no direction. You there's no word, no one telling you where to go. You just encounter shit and you Zelda gotta one. explore and you find stuff. Yep. And it, they purposely made it obtuse, similar to the way they made Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Like, uh, so yeah, I'm really excited about the remaster. I'll probably get that, but I also was forwarded a link uh, by Ben, and apparently they're uh, they already did a remaster of two and put it on PS4 and Xbox One, and three came out on PS4 and Xbox One. They're doing a Dark Souls trilogy box set. Oh, are they? For PS4 and Xbox One. That's cool. Um, I think it'd be cool to get Dark Souls 2 and 3 on on PS on uh, on Switch. That would be cool for yeah. Nintendo, but yeah. I think let's see. I'm kind of considering getting that for the Switch. <clears throat> on Switch? Uh, yeah. It's a fun game. Because I've heard so much about that game. Like, <laughs> oh, it's fun and it's like and it's, then plus everything you've talked about yeah. it and like, I think I watched uh, PewDiePie play it, getting fairly really frustrated with it, and it looks like a frustrating game. Is that the right game I'm thinking about? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's something I think I definitely want to play, too, just because, I mean, I really like what I played of Bloodborne, and I know yeah. it's, like, the same, like... It's the same studio. You know, from software. Right. Well, it's actually the same development team that did Dark Souls 1, mm. did Bloodborne. Yeah. Dark Souls Which 2, is, that's cool. and Dark Souls 3 were a smaller group of people yeah. from that studio, but... The director of Demon Souls and Dark Souls was the director of Bloodborne. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty cool that they're coming. They're doing a remaster of it. Yeah, yeah, I'm really excited because I, I did that come out on the PS3? Or? Yeah, PS3. Okay. Um, and Dark Souls Two was also PS3, and then they did a HD remaster, or a fucking upscaling for PS4 and Xbox yeah. One, and then Dark Souls Three came out on. Dark Souls Two was okay. Um, I, I enjoyed it, but I didn't. It didn't have the same hooks for me that the first one did, and like there's that whole theory, of the Mario Kart theory. Your first Mario Kart's always gonna be your favorite <laughs> Mario Kart. Like, I feel that way about the Souls games. I really enjoyed Bloodborne. Um, Watched Bloodborne be that for me then. And I played some Demon Souls after I played Dark Souls because it went free on Plus at one point. Um, but yeah, Dark Souls That's is cool. my favorite <laughs> version of that style of game. Yeah. I don't know how Ben feels about it. My brother told me recently that he actually likes... The newest one is Dark Souls 3, right? Yes. He likes that better than Bloodborne, personally. Um, I don't know how Ben feels about those. I, I don't think he said one way or the other which yeah. one he likes better, but I know that he's done four playthroughs <laughs> with different characters and a New Game Plus run with one of his characters. Yeah. But yeah, it's, he's rang everything out of that game. I, remember seeing him online all the time yeah, yeah always playing Souls. well bloodborne yeah and Blood, or bloodborne, bloodborne, bloodborne and dark souls 3 yeah but, um but yeah it's <laughs> coming in the switch it's awesome i think that, i think that's really cool i think it says a lot too that i mean it, it was announced later but it actually got unveiled on the switch before yes. the other ones because that thing got put up at six in the morning i think it just yeah. says a lot about how third parties are on board with the system and how much it's sold i, I just think that's cool it's just it's fucking cool like i like that we have a system right now that feels like it's Harkening back to like almost like the Super Nintendo days or something like that, you know what I mean? In terms of like the support, and I just, it's awesome. Yeah, so. it's it's definitely pretty cool. But again, even this early scrolling through that eShop sucks because it's all a bunch of phone ports and well, there's shit. good shit. There's in there, no, though. I'm not saying there's not. I'm just saying like 
Lots of indie games. What? 10 million units? Fucking shovelware the shit out of it. Like, that's I mean, what I didn't want to happen. Yeah. And, but oh well. All right. But there's a lot of good stuff on the store, though, yeah. too, for sure. Um, so, yeah. Speaking of another rumor, because mm-hmm. that's definitely one I want to talk about. Well, do we going to hit that or do we want to talk oh, about Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, right, right. Jump in. Um, yeah, so, what, what out of the direct, like, caught your eye? Um, well, the Dark Souls, the Dark Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls for sure. We already made that clear. Yeah. Um, I already said I'm, I'm, uh, I, yes, I want there to be a Mario Golf, but Ugh. I'm excited about Mario Tennis. I, just, I hate tennis games. I, I don't know. I like, I, I can have fun with tennis games. I think they're fun, especially with the Mario spin on it. And I think it's cool. Like I said, they have a, kind of like a story mode to it. And just watching him cruise around the map a little bit reminded me a little bit of uh, everybody's golf. Mm-hmm. And I liked all the mini games and stuff. I thought that looks cool. Um, yes, it's a port, but I'm excited for Tropical Freeze because I never got around to playing it. And I yeah. think I owned it, I, but I don't remember. That's the part. I, I actually don't remember it. if I did. And I just never, I don't even think I opened it. And it, I don't know why. I, and I wanted to. So I'm excited to get the chance to play it because I'll, I'll play that on that for sure. Yeah. Um, I think at that point I just kind of was so frustrated with the Wii U that I just never got around to playing it. Um, I, so I was donkey kong country returns i thought was pretty cool and novel mm-hmm. but like i didn't feel like there needed to be a sequel and the little bit i played of tropical freeze i was like this just feels like pandering it just doesn't feel right or good or mm-hmm. anything like that so that's just my own bias so then when i saw that it was yeah a port on the switch and like i just I was telling you like i get it man like the Switch has already sold, uh, probably by now, as many consoles as the Wii U did in its entire lifespan. Um, so I understand that there's some awesome games on the Switch, I mean on the Wii U, that didn't get played and you want to bring them over to the Wii U. I think those games have been brought over already. Mario Kart and Splatoon, I think, are those games. Um, I don't think Tropical Freeze is that game. I, I think... Uh, I, I think, want to play it. Yeah, I don't agree with you on that. Like, the game was so critically... A claim a lot of people and love people it. should yeah. play that game and so i i think that very yeah. much deserves to come over i also like donkey kong like i, I have a little sp- a special place in my heart for donkey kong country because like as we've talked about on this show <laughs> um like i was a nintendo power subscriber for the longest time like mm-hmm. probably even before i was even reading properly because my brother had it and right i was probably that little brother that was like well if he gets it i want it too <laughs> you know and so i can remember like suddenly one day like getting a fucking vhs tape in the mail yeah yeah like top secret blah 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 and so i played the tape and it was kind of like the first unveiling of donkey kong country and it was and, like, it was that opening cinematic i guess you could call it right it was like I that intro and, and then some gameplay and i had people even talking like yeah. i mean it felt like almost you know like a well let's play oh well, not a let's play but like you like know that developer. yeah yeah exactly and yeah. so had that too and like i'm kind of blown away i'm like i've never seen donkey kong like this because yeah. i only knew donkey kong as you know what we've seen I, i'm a huge shit. fan of the first donkey kong country yeah and i thought donkey kong country returns was a nice like jab at my nostalgia bone but I, I don't know. I just, it's like, well, all right, let's do yeah. another one. And well, let's have this awesome studio that should be doing something else. Well, they probably are. Now they are. Yeah. But yeah, I was like, let's get this awesome studio that should be doing something else. But see, that's the thing is, I, was I hope they're not doing that. Metroid. Is that them? They aren't doing Metroid. They're not. They said no. it was a different studio doing it's the new not, Metroid. Retro is not doing Metroid. Good. Nobody I get, knows I don't doing want Metroid. them to be doing Metroid. Yeah, they aren't doing I want Metroid. them to be doing something I'm the same different. way. I want to see them do something different, too. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm excited for Tropical uh-huh. Freeze just because I just, I wanted to play it. I never did. I know a lot of people love it. Some people have even called it the best platforming game ever. I've heard people say that more than one person say it. I can't confirm who. Um, and I think it looks really pretty too. Like it I just nice. like the looks yeah. of it also. So I'm excited about that. And then since you asked, I'll just keep rolling with this. Uh, I think the Odyssey at free update looks rad too. Yeah, that looks oh, pretty yeah. cool. Mm. Were you going to say something about, do you have a... Like a nostalgia for Donkey Kong Country? Um, yeah, yeah, just like everyone else. Like okay. I played when I played it. I, I mean, I played both part one and two. Um, loved the hell out of it. Yeah. I passed the first one, never passed the second one. Yeah. Oh. Fucking two and three were brutal, man. One was brutal as a yeah. kid. Yeah. And then two and three were... Um, oh, also, because I have this, the Mario and Rabbids DLC with Donkey Kong, I think looks really fucking cool. Yeah. I'm that excited. Looks funny. I'm excited for that. Uh, Payday 2 is cool, but I mean, I've had, you know, I, like, I'm expecting also, that to be there. Also, it, I never got around to Payday. It doesn't, it doesn't look good. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, looks it, doesn't wise. Look, it doesn't look the best, but I mean, I think it's cool that uh, that's going to be on there. 
That's kind of that's that's one of like one of the glaring examples of what I'm talking about. It's like you don't look. I know, I know. You want people to play Payday. It sold well on PS4. It sold well on Xbox yeah. One, and it didn't look very good there either. And now it looks even worse on the Switch. Don't mm-hmm. do that. Yeah. Don't fucking do that. Um, I think there's another. There's a couple. I don't know if I want to call them indie games because I don't know if they're indie, but there was two on there that I thought looked interesting, and I guess one of them was this Fee and Celeste. Yeah, Celeste. Or one one was, Celeste looks cool. That's also coming yeah. to other all. So uh, other Celeste consoles. looks cool. Yeah, Celeste looks cool. Maybe Fee was the other one. Fee. I don't know. Yeah, it's well, I think it's pronounced Fay, but Fee, yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's pronounced Fay. Yes. <laughs> Birth of Fate. <laughs> <laughs> now that song's in my head. Um, I don't know anyway. So that's what. Yeah, one of the those highlights cool. For me. Um, I think the thing that looked the coolest again, it's a fucking port. But the world ends with you was a super rad DS game that I always wanted to play, but I didn't have a DS. I saw a lot of people blowing their minds over that. Yeah, like, it's an I, awesome game. I just didn't. It seems like an awesome. It. It's it's an RPG, like yeah. a Japanese style RPG, and it, it seems really fucking cool. And it's cool. I was like, oh, that's Shibuya Crossing, and that's that store. I'm like, that's funny. What is this game? You yeah, know, like, I've been there, but I didn't know about uh, um, the game. Fucking Hyrule Warriors. I hate. I, I hate yeah. Dynasty Warriors right. to begin with. Yeah, they're not fun game. If you like Dynasty Warriors, cool. I can't stand it. I think I have very, I ha, I have a small uh, amount of time with a Dynasty Warriors game. I think, and I want to say like Bryant and I and Zach and our friend John, Big John, um, like spent a night where we were just playing and yeah. had fun doing that. Yeah, yeah. And I remember at the time, I think I thought like High Roll Warriors. I'm like, that's this seems kind of cool. And I think I almost got it. What was it? that? Was Wii U, right? I almost thought about getting and, that there. And D three DS. I think there was a DS okay, version yeah, also. Yeah, yeah. So the fact that it's coming to the Switch, like, I don't know if I'm like, holy shit, I'm going to go grab that. But I could see me, if I have nothing to play, yeah. I could see myself maybe getting it. That could be something fun to do on the go. So that, that's kind of a cool, that's a cool announcement. So yeah, a, yeah. Game of the so year, <laughs> a Game of the Year edition of an Aport Tournament DX. Like, come on, guys. Just put I'm, the I'm deals. I'm never into the Pokemon Tournament. Yeah, I, I, I'm not super into fighting games to begin with. With, yeah, the, with, with some rare exceptions. Final Fight. Yeah. I love Final Fight. Uh, dragon. Um, why am I? Double, Double Dragon. dragon. <laughs> Double Dragon. Those two. like. <laughs> well, I, those those are beat-em-ups. I know. Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, you're talking I'm fight, talking fight. like fighting gotcha, games. Like gotcha. Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter. I like Fighter, beat-em-ups. Those are the, yeah. Beat-em-ups are gr- beat em ups They're awesome. I think a Pokemon Stadium. Right? Hot take, maybe not so <laughs> hot take. And maybe consensus, at least of Mike and I, I don't know. Beat-em-ups are far superior to fighting games. Ooh, that's a hot take. Yeah, yeah, because you Far get superior. you get awesome story. Like uh, the coolest thing about Scott Pilgrim vs. the World to me was the video game they put out. Okay, and that, that game was game a lot of fun. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. um, Double Dragon obviously is one of my favorite. When I was wrestling, I used to come out to a rock version yeah. of the Double Dragon theme song. Um, yeah, man, Final Fatal Fury, yeah, that's Final easy. Fight. Yeah, that's easy yeah. for me. Yeah. All the SNK stuff. Yeah. yeah. I guess just because you're getting a story along with it, too, you know? And yeah. it's fun. I mean, it's just cool. Arcade Ninja Turtles. Yeah. 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 The arcade Carcade game. Ninja Turtles. Oh, my God. It's so... I love The Simpsons. Yeah, the Simpsons. Co-op that game. stuff is so yeah. fun. Because it's fun co-op. Yes. Yeah, it's all good stuff. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So it is a consensus. Right. So that's what I was excited about with the Direct. It's a Direct Mini. Uh, yeah. And they, they kind of hit... There's 14 minutes of just game, 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 which I think is awesome. There's actually already... Rumors yeah. of like another direct, like yeah. because I guess there's already a space and there's a bunch of stuff like on their site, it shows where all the directs are. Oh, okay, and there's, there's a little an blank slot. spot. Yeah. And I guess generally, sometimes there is a small direct followed by a big direct. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I do think there'll be another one before E3 that talks about a lot of other stuff that they didn't cover in this one. And I think maybe that's why they actually went out of their way to call it a mini. Well, uh, the thing I thought was cool about it is everything is. Coming out, like, before E3. Like, all this stuff is, like... (laughs) Everything is, like, hidden. (laughs) And I think that's cool. And, again, it's it's a lot of ports. But there is going to be shit for you to play there. Yeah. I mean, I've already put 30 hours in Zelda 30+. plus. I was was up until 5 o'clock this morning playing Zelda. God damn it. Idiot. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, dude, I'm glad you're having fun with it, man. It's it's so fun. Like, I, I don't know if Rick has, like... I, I think... I know Rick's had fun with the game. Yeah. But oh, yeah. I don't know if Rick has hit that point where you're just playing it and you're just like, you're so immersed in the you're world. Into you're, his just, own. you're just lost in this world. And when you finally get that feeling, it's it's so cool. Yeah. Like hitting that, like you've been to the beach, obviously, right? Uh, where? Um, fuck. No, I've been 
two water areas. I've been to the outside, yeah, right, to the... the right side of the map, which I'm guessing is where the beach would be because the left seems super cold. I think the beach that I'm talking about is down. Oh, okay. No, I haven't. You haven't been there? Anyways, I, I went there for the first time because um, I'm like, I'm just going to unlock more of the map and stuff. And then I'm just like, dang, this beach is fucking huge. Like, that, that's what cracks me up about the game is like you go to an area and it's like, oh, this is this area. I'm like, holy shit, this area is still going yeah. and still going. I've done, I've done some more combat trines and the combat is actually starting to get fun and fluid mm -hmm. for me. Yeah. Um, because at first I was like, oh, yeah, I can use these fucking powers in combat not yeah. just in the shrines uh but i wasn't and then when i got to that combat shrine that was uh it was it's like a moderate test of strength it's like there's the minor yeah there's the medium and then there's the uh major i've done it. i've actually got to the point where i pounded out like two major tests of strength in like three minutes oh that's good so that's really good with with mo with okay weapons yeah because i'm learning how to use the powers and get around the guardians. And yeah. I don't know if you've got any. I've got some ancient arrows, just randomly. I do. I, have uh, those. I used one, and you hit them right in the fucking eye. Yeah, yeah, that's the way. It's good do stuff, it. man. Like the, the the more weapons that you get, and the yeah. combat does open up, and then, yes. you know the the flurry rushes are fun if you can nail those. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff. Have yeah. you done? We're back on Zelda. We'll make this quick. Have you done? No, I wanted to jump in and say what I would look forward to on. <laughs> we will. We will just we real quick. I mean, it's part of it. Um, have you done much of the sneak attack stuff, like where you just kind of push a barrel down or a rock onto places, onto people mm -hmm. yet? No, I've done the, the, the stealth strike stuff. You've done but, that. So there was, a, there was a group of guys that I came into contact with the other day that has like this super tall platform next to them. Mm -hmm. And then I took them all out because I felt really comfortable with the combat. Took them all out, no problem. Boom. And then I was like, oh, I wonder if there's a chest. And there was a chest for beating all of them. You yep. open the chest. And I was like, oh, I wonder if there's a chest up there. Sometimes there's chests up on high shit or, yeah. or little cool little puzzles and you get a uh, turd seed. And so I was like, so I climbed up there, climbed up there, and there was a uh, exploding barrel. And I was like, no way. Yeah. And I picked it up and I just aimed where the guys were laying down and threw it. And it landed right in the middle of where they were. I was like, no, yeah. man, I could have just done that. <laughs> it's so awesome yeah. when you come across a camp like that and you can spot stuff like that. Like yeah. there's been things too where it's like, oh, if I shoot an arrow, an arrow, an arrow, that's the name of my internet provider. Uh, if I shoot an arrow and cut that rope, that thing's going to fall fire and falls. land. Yeah, yeah, and all this stuff. Um, there's a lot, Or... Even too, like, there's a thing like, oh, I can cut this thing, this platform this guy's on with my sword, and yes. he's just gonna go falling. And like, I like stuff like that. So, what'd you like out of the Sorry. direct? Rick? Mario Tennis. Really? You guys I like tennis. tennis. I like tennis. I'm excited for that. That, yeah. I mean, I'm excited tennis. for everything else, but tennis as well, too. Yeah. Mario Tennis. I think, again, I just don't like tennis games, even Mario Tennis games. Um, and I like that whole RPG ish mode that's in it. I was like, yo, I know, like, Golf Story just came out, but, like, that's, like, a 16-bit looking game. I would love Golf Story to just be fucking Mario Golf. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I would prefer tennis than Mario Golf. Uh, I, like, I like Hot Shots as my golf. Well, don't, dude, don't say Mario, Mario Golf. Mario Golf awesome. is so you can't, good. I, I'm don't with roll you. It off. I'm with you. I, don't write it off. I am, I like Mario Golf, but I'm more of a fan of the Hot Shots franchise when it comes to mini golf or... Or golfing, like right. with power ups and stuff like that. But Mario Golf is no slouch, man. Yeah. yeah. Wait for a new one to come out before you make that yeah. comment. Yeah, right. okay. You have to. So anyways, tennis. I'm all about golf story though, too. I can't wait to play oh, that. Yeah, I need to get that. So that's funny. Is like, what? No, go ahead. Go ahead. What were you gonna say? Oh, I was just well, hold it. It's about just, the direct. Okay, I was just gonna say like all all these games. I'm like everybody's like, oh, I can't wait to play this on the go. I can't wait to play this on the go. I was like, yeah, I like playing Zelda in handheld mode uh, if I have to. Yeah. But, like, there's so much text, and it's like, I'm dying for voice acting out of that game. And it doesn't it's have like to... It, and and it doesn't acting. have to be Link. Like, I understand Link is quiet. He doesn't have to talk. I don't Just, want Link to ever talk. Yeah. That's fine. I don't care. But everybody else in that fucking world needs voice. Yeah. It's so weird because the most of the, the voice acting only comes in cutscenes, really. Yeah, all and then of, even yeah. then, it's not always... It's real sparse. It's sparse, so it's interesting. Um, what I was going to say is... And you should be excited about this too. I think that free update to, to Mario is going to be cool. Like, I think there could be a lot of fun to be had playing with friends, yeah. hiding the balloons and stuff. That, that balloon thing looks like. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be really cool. Like, I immediately thought, I'm like, oh, this is awesome. It's kind of like Mario Kart's battle mode, but like different and bigger. Yeah. And like, there's rankings, like what you were talking <laughs> about. Like, I don't know. It's 
Sounds cool. Yeah. But yeah, so that that was the direct. Unless we have more to say about it. Nope. That's pretty much it. Yeah. That's so what I what I liked about it. The other thing on the yeah. docket was the rumor. Yeah, which that I've heard about seems to be more. Sub- yeah, same here. But like, it seems to be more substantial yeah. now. Uh, substantial. Oh. Well, do you want to sell it or me? Go ahead. Go ahead. So basically, from what I know of it, and you can correct me where I'm wrong, but basically, it sounds like there's something, like a press release or something leaked, in Japan, where it basically kind of confirmed a Japanese release date for a Burnout remaster, which made people think like, oh, maybe this rumor is real, and yeah. it will also be coming to the U.S. very soon. Yeah. So it was a tweet that. Yeah, uh, that's what it somebody was. put out. I can't remember who it was, but Maybe it was a there. reputable fucking source. And oh wow, yeah, and it's March something or other. I think something like that. Said. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so it looks real. It looks yeah. real. And <clears throat> I've talked about this with you guys, and like at this point, it it sucks because at first I had reservations about this. I was like, I don't want a Burnout Paradise remaster. I want Burnout Paradise Two. I want another Burnout game. But at the same time. I really don't want that because Criterion isn't really Criterion anymore. That's true. You mentioned that um, before. And they're all, I think Criterion is also independent again. I think after yeah. after everybody took off and stuff, I think the remaining people, I think they bought themselves back from EA. So they're independent again. Um, and then there's the other guy, there's people from Criterion that went on, the people who wanted to make racing games went on to Ghost Games to make some right. speed stuff. The people who liked making the crash mode went off and made Dangerous Golf, which is basically crash mode. Uh, and they made another game also that's similar and I can't remember what it was called but it was like here you blow this thing up and then you use aftertouch to move it around and all that uh, but the people who are still at like actual criterion I don't think want to be making driving games or racing games anymore anyway and yeah I just don't think I want a new burnout game so I'm starting to come on the side of the yo give me this remaster but if the heart isn't into it, then yeah. don't do it. Just, uh, right, right. But I'm saying, like, there was a point where they were ready to go, and EA was like, no, 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 you guys are going to make a Need for Speed game now. Mm-hmm. In fact, you're going to make two Need for Speed games, and then they're not going to sell as well because Need for Speed is on a downward decline, even though your Need for Speed games were ar- arguably the best in the franchise history or the best in the last eight years. So now we're going to cut your development, and we're going to cut your funding and now you guys are going to split off into studios. We still want some of you to make Need for Speed games. The rest of you can do whatever you want. Yeah. And it was just a real shitty situation because there was a point where after Paradise they had figured everything out and were ready to go on another one. Yeah. I, and I don't think it's even a matter, Rick, of what you said where their heart isn't in it. I think what Mike's trying to say is just even Criterion as we know it like doesn't exist anymore and they're all in different companies. Yeah. And so even if a game like Burnout came out from those same people, it probably wouldn't even be called Burnout. And it probably wouldn't feel good either. It wouldn't feel as good. Yeah, it probably wouldn't. Yeah. A lot of the key components are off making similar, using games with those similar uh, functions. So it really bums me out because, I mean, there's nothing I wanted more than a, a follow-up to Burnout Paradise. Yeah. So to me, if this is the closest thing we're going to get because they're not going to fuck it. I mean, they're not going to, I don't know how they're going to fuck it up. I mean, the game is made. So it's basically a remaster. So I'm like, I'm all aboard for that. Here's how, here's how they fuck it up. It's just the PC version. I mean, yeah, that would suck. But hopefully it's not that lazy. But we'll see. We'll find out soon enough. If this rumor's true and the release date's that close, we'll find out soon enough. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I just, I want to see what it looks like. Because if it's literally just like, oh, hey, it's a, just an up res of the old game uh, with all the DLC. Here you go. Like, I'm out. I'm not going to support that. I'm not going to give them money for that shit. If it's an up res? Yeah, like, and I'm not saying they have to do a whole art pass and change all of the graphics and everything like that, but they need to do something to update it because at this point now, make it look at least this better. this week. That is a ten year old game. That game is ten really? years old. Yeah, you have to do something to modernize the way that game looks. And I'm and I I'm not like oh this has got to look super realistic. Oh, I'll put it in the frostbite engine because yeah, it could do that. Like no, I, you don't need to do that. But it's you've got to do something to it because it's not gonna. And if you don't, it better only be twenty fucking dollars in digital only. I mean, I'm probably in regardless. I, I realize your <laughs> situation is different. Well, it's not that like, different. It's it's different in the sense of I played the shit out of this game. I played yeah, a lot of it. Me but too. You, I that's yeah, yeah, that's there's a, like three or you, four you, times. you you replay. I never. Re- I don't think I ever. One time, I think I re- I restarted because I lost finish, my shit. Yeah, you didn't finish your second playthrough though. Because I know I didn't finish it, but I think yeah. that's what happened. I got fucked, Tom. Huh? Like something yeah. happened where I lost everything. Did my PlayStation die? I 
Do you remember that? Something happened. Anyways, and I never completed it. I just played with you and Ben online a lot, and Rick and Francis. But yeah, man, it's it's so for me. Things were like it's still kind of fresh, you know. I guess, and and (laughs) it is for me too. But at the same time, it's like if this game isn't like a major improvement then fuck that, dude. Let's just pop in our PS3 copies and play together. Yeah, I, I hear that, too. We have a PS3. Well, we do. <laughs> yeah. Whose fault is that? Not, not yours. It's not yours. It's the PlayStation. PlayStation, I'm looking but at But yeah, I, it's one of those things, man. Like, Remember when we fucking talked Rick into getting it and he was so skeptical because he didn't like driving games? And I was like, dude, this isn't a driving game. Just play it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's probably some of the best times I've had yeah. playing that game. Yeah, I, that's, that's, the, cool. that's the other thing is like, Oh, you got, that in GTA. You can't go. You can't go home again. Like, that's like trying to relive your sophomore year summer from high school. Like, you, you, it's not gonna be as yeah. good as it was. I think I played the demo for that game more than any demo I've ever played yeah. ever. Because I, like, I again, my PlayStation was still pretty fresh. I, yeah, it was. Like, I had just gotten it, and that demo I think dropped either over the holidays or first thing in January or something. It, it was like I think it came out before you got your PlayStation because I had already okay. put time into it. Oh, I don't, yeah. I don't remember that, but yeah, whatever the case may be, that was one of the first demos I played and yeah. loved it. So. I'm on board. I'll, I'll, I'll hold that like it, it, if it... I don't know. I'm on board. <laughs> I'm just fucking on board. No matter what. So, is that it for video games? Yeah, so I guess. Switch gears. Please don't feed the beast if it doesn't look worth it, though. Like, you got to vote with your fucking dollars, And man. I do. You I do. Ha- no, but you, ha- you actually have to. I, I, I understand that, but I don't think I... I don't because have the if, same stances either. If they put out a fucking half-assed port... It, it sets a bad precedent if it sells millions of copies. But that's how much I want Burnout. And maybe I realize yeah. we're talking about how it's not going to be the same, but maybe if it sells a lot, it does give us a new Burnout. But I don't, but I don't know not. what's going to happen. I can't predict <laughs> if a new Burnout's going to suck. Like, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not it. saying it's going to suck. It's just not going to have the same heart and soul, man. I like, don't well, know that either. Well, Bryce and Aaron, I'm definitely going to get one. I'm in. I'm in. Yeah, but I'm in too. Okay. Fucking tools. That doesn't make us tools. <laughs> they just have a different Oh, stance. man, if they just put out a mediocre version of this game, I'm totally going to buy it. I Good job, EA. I wanted a new Burnout <laughs> so bad that if this is the closest I'm going to get, but okay, even a minimal other, upgrade other, is better than what it looks like on PS3. Other games have come out since where For I'm sure. like, yo, this is... Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, which was as close to a burnout game as you were going to get from that team, was an, um, not Hot Pursuit, I'm sorry, Most Wanted. Mm. And that was f- a fucking amazing game. But that and was the game that we thought was really going to no, be Hot the burnout. No, Hot Pursuit was okay. the one. Okay. M- uh, Most Wanted was the one. Did I uh, even have that? I, you got it yeah, and you, you didn't it. play for very long. Yeah, I just think it didn't. It wasn't um, the same for me. And the, uh, other than that, and again, it was rough, but the crew was that. That didn't grab me the way it grabbed you. And the thing that sucks now is they're completely ditching all that shit for the crew too. Which is fucking shitty. Because the thing that was the problem with the crew wasn't its structure. The problem with the crew was it needed more time to be polished. Mm -hmm. And about a year later, they put out a polished patch that, you know, polished up the graphics. And it looks way better. And that was the problem. A lot of people, oh, this looks just like an old PS3 game. It looks great now. Even now, if you play it, it looks good. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, this year, and I'll, I'll keep screaming this from the fucking rooftops, man. I don't care what anybody says. Need for Speed Payback is as good of a exploration style game as Burnout was. Even if you don't engage with the story. The exploration aspect, the city that you're in, the different terrains, it feels so good. And the drifting is what you want. Um, the races are uh, point to point, like some of them point to point like Burnout. Some of them are circuits, mm-hmm. and the only problem that I think that is going to have with you is that the races have, like, they have checkpoints you need to go through. Okay. And I know the thing about Burnout was, I can go there any way I want, and that was cool. Yeah. But there was checkpoint races there in Burnout. There was. Um, there's, there's, there's fucking billboards. Uh, everybody adopted that billboard thing, by the way, <laughs> once Burnout did it. Yeah. Um, Forza Horizon had billboards and, and so on. But like Need for Speed Payback, despite all the hate it's getting, if it was not a Need for Speed game and not made by EA, people would be praising this game. But because it came out in a year where it's fun to shit on EA, Ghost yeah. Games got, you know, shit on too. And everybody's like, I don't think they're ever gonna make another Need for Speed game. This is fucking terrible. But if you look at it, <laughs> over the holidays, 
it was one of the best selling games digitally on all consoles because it was yes it was on sale but that still counts as sales they don't care about the back end they want the big numbers on the front end and they it sold a lot mm-hmm. and there's a lot of people playing that game online there's a lot of people do putting youtube videos up of this game for a game that's garbage there's a lot of people playing this fucking game and that's a game that is gets real close yeah there's no stunt runs but i'll 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 lose that because the driving feels great and feels like a burnout game would um the drifting feels amazing, just like a burnout game would. And the mechanics of the game feel so good. So there's been games that come out since Burnout that I've tried to get you to play that you either bounce off of or just didn't play. Yeah. And I can understand your reasoning for maybe bouncing off of the crew, but like uh, Most Wanted was that game, dude. Most Wanted was. That's another game that I platinumed and I played four times. I even bought it on the Vita and I platinumed it on the Vita and played through it twice. Yeah. It's 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 that good. So there's been other games. I mean spiritual successors. <laughs> I think even if I had played those games, I would still be all aboard on this, man. Like I'm just I want even for the fact and I know there's a way that you could fucking do it, but even for the fact of getting to play it with a PlayStation 4 controller. <laughs> Like, I don't want to use the PS3 controller. And I know I could work a way around that because I did that for uh, Stick of Truth. No, but... I was going to say, then it's been, it's, it's, it's on PC and it's always on fucking sale. You can get it for $5. I'm on just PC. saying, <laughs> look, you've got your opinion. I've got mine. I, know. I want it. I want it. I, I'm about it. I'm, I'm not going to shit on it before I even hear what all the details are. If, so if you, I'm about I, it. Just I'm not we'll shitting on it now. I'm just saying, if they put out a half-assed version of it, no, you can't support that. Maybe. I think it's you still going to be better well, than what's on PC You won't PS3. be supporting it, but we... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's all right. Like part of the problem. That's Let's it for me. On. In your opinion, I think I'm part of the solution. No. So... No. Let's move on. They're not going to magically make a better burnout. So because let's move on. Let's move on. Mike's not going to get burnout. We got it.